elephant into part three. So I was reported back in Uganda. It was so shaming, painful. Okay. So my mind was like off. I was like, oh, I cannot be with this kind of situation. I tried to call Ma, I get my advice, I got my counsel, I got cancellation, all those things. Counseling, uh, different people, therapists, and I was put in order. In 2012, I applied for what you call the green card. I won the green card. I did all the medical, I did everything, I went to the visa consult. Because they needed to take the questions and they need to approve. Winning the green card does not mean you automatically have the visa with you. So I went to the consult for that case. She told me we cannot give you a visa. You have a travel ban in UK for 10 years. You need to first finish up those 10 years. Oh God, I got so perturbed, I got so perturbed, I got so hungry, I got so pissed, I didn't know what to do. It is my overstaying in the UK that I looked at something that is very small that has caused me to miss out another good opportunity. And that is what I have to let you know, guys. You may think you are playing games, you're playing drama with your travel. That is if, if you are not going to travel anymore. But even if you're in the Gulf and you're playing drama with the travel, overstaying, you, you, you want to have a, a ban, you have to black, you want to be blacklisted because you think this. A big opportunity may come one day where I need to travel to these big countries. You go to Schengen, you go to Europe, or you go to anywhere. And they will need, the consul himself has a right to access your travel history. If he needs to verify the kind of person going to that country. And that was what it was. And that's how I got to miss out what you call my green card. My visa was denied because of that. I felt so bad. Another situation came in. Counseling, therapist, I got to lose on my weight, I got to lose on my wine, I was almost getting mad. Like, they put me back to counseling, they tried to talk to me, I was like, what hey? It comes to 216. The opportunity comes, and that was all about security guard. That was the first time coming as a security guard in, in Qatar. I said, let me try my luck. I tried my luck, and I got a visa. I said, okay, fine. I need to serve off the 10 years that are being given for my travel ban for him, okay? Let me go and work as a security guard until this travel ban gets off, all right? Good enough, my visa was uploaded. At that time, it was not affecting my travel because I was coming on a work visa here, all right? For the Europe countries, they get to unite to try to create information. Which is something that I need to let you right now, is what is going to happen with what we call the Gulf countries. You have a travel ban in one country, it may affect you a travel to go to work in another country. So we need to be a little bit very careful in one way or the other. So I came started as a secure, working as a security guard. Yes, ads I had to serve off what you call until the penalty to get off the ban. Because when you have the ban, you can appeal after, after the ban and they can try to get it off of you. So, 2020 20, 20 came, uh, May, that was June, came to May, July. I went to the British High Commissioner in Kampala. I went with my old booklet. So remember, this is five, ten years down the road. For ten years, you already have two booklets. You already have two passport booklets. Right? Because we are, I was only given five years, five years for that booklet. Because my booklets were under student. Right? So, I had to submit the booklets that were used by that time and I got the adjudication and it was all it got off. What do we have to share out of this? That small things that we may take when it comes to travel is quite very important. And we need to copy from people around us. Sometimes when we don't know these things, we shall do. We need to get what we call advice to avoid falling in trouble in one or the other. From that day, I learned a lot of lessons. I learned a very big lesson for the opportunities I meet, I, 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 I miss. I might have been somewhere for right now. If I did not act, try to act a little bit stupid or a little bit in one way or the other. 
So, hi guys, I'm, I'm like, don't fall into that trouble. If there's an overstay, if a company says you, you exit by this day, please exit and you get a new strategy to come back. Don't overstay, I run away, I go, I hide my friend. Right now, you may see it, it may cost you a little bit. Because we are seeing some of these changes coming. For example, the one, the U, new UAE visa rules or absconding, blacklist and the fines. Which is going to be incorporated in all what you call the Gulf states. So meaning that you may not be able to travel in any of the Gulf states. What about if an opportunity comes on your table for you to travel to Europe or to travel to any other uh, European country? And this is by, 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 by so bad luck that the consul will have to try to look for your, your, your information or, or your, your, your eligibility from other travel records and he finds out to have a travel ban. That means you're going to miss out your visa. Hope I liked a little story and it pained me, but I'm back to normal. Maybe someday I'll go back and ask again because I'm free to ask for a visa or to apply for a visa anymore. Thank you so much uh, for coming back to you now. Thank you so much. We are looking at the road to 5,000 subscribers. It's only by your phone. If you feel you need to know something, please drop a, 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 drop a message or drop a comment in the comment section. I'll always be very happy to get back to you. Remember, it's makes from my expression. See you again in the next video or see you again when I see you again in the next video.